In this area, in New England, um, there are two mosquito-borne diseases that we should be most aware of. The more common one is called West Nile virus, um, and certain towns and municipalities have higher risk than others because of the mosquito population based on the ecology there. The second is called Eastern Equine Encephalitis, and luckily Triple E, as it's known, is a lot rarer than West Nile virus, but it can be more severe. More people who contract Triple E um, develop more severe symptoms of inflammation of the brain um, with long-term neurologic um, sequelae. I recommend, first of all, not being outside at the times of day when the mosquitoes are most active, so dawn or dusk, um, reducing the mosquito population in the area where you or your child is playing, so eliminating standing water, for example, wearing long sleeves whenever possible, um, and then, of course, insect repellents. Uh, the most effective and readily available is are the DEET products, and what I tell all my patients is to pay attention to the percentage of DEET on the label. They can range anywhere from 7% up to even 100% from sporting goods stores. But most pharmacies will carry products about up to 25-30% DEET. An example would be a Deep Woods Off product, for example. Um, the higher the percentage of DEET, the longer it has activity when, it, when it's worn. The American Academy of Pediatrics states that DEET is safe down to two months of age. Uh, there are rare case reports of toxicity due to DEET, but each of these has been when it hasn't been used appropriately. It's be almost been accidentally or intentionally overdosed. So when used appropriately, DEET is uh, very safe. We use DEET and sunscreen a lot. We don't recommend the combination products. Um, the sunscreen should go on first and allow it to be absorbed into the skin before the DEET uh, product is applied. Um, it can make the SPF factor of the sunscreen a little less effective, so we recommend uh, reapplying sooner than you would, probably every couple hours doing the sunscreen and the insect repellent again over that.